Even dogs are lazy on this nice Sunday morning, but here's my challenge. I find all the locals and then in about three minutes I find a guide. Adrianus, Adrianus, that's my guide. Yeah. Hello Adrianus. We're going to the mountain and he's got no shoes. No shoes. No shoes. I don't like it. I don't like the shoes. Adrianus is making a stick for me. Okay, so I get two new sticks. Makasi. Yeah, sama sama. Very good. I don't want some more. No pong air for you. Banana. Yes. So the track is pretty good. It's not too steep. Um, through the forest. Pretty good. The forest ended. And now we're gonna climb up this ridge to reach the volcano. Welcome to the volcano, the Lobo. We are almost at the top. We're going, going. Sometimes we fall, reaching the top of the volcano. And we see the volcano. Bravo! There's a little sign on top of the volcano. So we reached the summit and then now we are waiting, hoping for some wind so that the clouds go. You can smell sulfur very well. It stinks. The altitude is 2,124 meters. Well, it's not getting any better. It's still foggy. While waiting for a little break, in the clouds, I decided to walk on the other side of the volcano. Silver. And I reached the real summit, which is about 25 meters higher where, uh, where we were just a second ago. And then here's a nice view on the valley. Hello! As my guide stayed back, just a bit closer to the mouth of the volcano, you can really smell sulfur. These are very very, very fresh rocks. Some of them are moving under my feet. The smell is horrible. Oh, time to go. It was a great hike. I saw what I wanted to see, which is uh, sulfur and the mouth of a volcano. Oh, perfect weather. We go back. <laughs> We're going down. Huh? So we arrived here back in the village. Uh, my brother here. Yes. Very good. You have to register registration. Yes, in the on family and family guide. Guide. This is the end of my trip here. The whole village came to say bye bye to me, and it's very nice uh, to uh, climb this big mountain right there, big volcano.